I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at Sandcrabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Welcome back everyone. We are about to kick off day 38 here. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. We are 272 dragon bones away from having enough banked for 70 prayer, assuming we don't lose any so horrible PKs. So probably gonna need about 300, maybe even more than that to actually feel safe, but we'll see how we get on today. It's gonna be a full day there, pretty much. I was gonna make today like a, a bone burying video, but the worlds are pretty active at the minute. There's quite a lot of people online. It's midday on, like it's, it's half one in the afternoon on a Saturday, so. It's not really the ideal time to be burying bones, so yeah, we are just going to be back at Green Dragons for another day. I know it's not the most uh, variety of content at the moment, so I do apologise, but it is what it is. It's very good for the account, and in these final days where we're, we're counting down to Jad almost, we need to like make sure we're getting the most out of everything. Alright, on to our home, the Dragons of Greenliness. Okay, got some stuff just to sell up at the start of the day. Going it over on buns won't be terrible either because it will... Let me just get some of this shit sorted. Okay, there we go. So, we've got about 600k at the minute, which isn't terrible. Just gonna get all our gear out. We need a wealth. We don't have one. And then the cannon parts. And some cannonballs. I'm hoping we don't need to top up on cannonballs again, but who knows. I think kind of low on the diamond bolts as well. They have lasted us a fair time though, with the avers. Okay, go stand here. Alright, just get them all tagged at the start of the day so I don't know which colours which. Makes it a lot easier to just efficiently kill them. If I know exactly where I need to stand to uh, not be in melee range. The thing is, if, you, if you're in melee range and they're on you, then the cannon doesn't fire on the others. So. Oh, I also just remembered I was in the middle of saying that, like, if we overshoot on bones, it's not bad. So, like, even if we did technically have enough today, it wouldn't be terrible to do another day here anyway, because the bones of the majority of the profit we would actually get here so it'll be extra money which is like pretty much all we're gonna need after this prayer is the more money we have the more we can potentially upgrade bits of our gear like the ring slot must but that's gonna need about three mil so okay first trip just finished up Ooh, that was my last caramba one good job i barely actually used them I usually end up like just face tanking because I'm like, ah, I need to get this Karam one out of my invent. <laughs> Let me take some damage and heal up real quick. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Three free kills on the floor. Maybe my cannon's in the wrong position because it doesn't feel like it's hitting them when they're at every corner like it usually does. Like when they get trapped in the corner sometimes it was just like, they were, they were just staying there on one HP rather than dying really weird. I think I must have just had it slightly misplaced. It's getting that one now, but it wasn't before. I feel like I'm being super inefficient today, but I don't know what it is. These troops just seem really slow. I'm not doing anything different. Maybe I'm just not properly focused, I don't know. Okay, that is the second trip, I believe. Fresh out of run energy. Back we go. Finally figured out a green tile as well, it's safe from both the blue and the yellow. So I do have spots now that are ideal for all of them. 
Why is that green dragon down there not getting hit by my cannon? Ooh, a hard clue. Did stop juggling the other one, so it will be fresh at zero steps. That's an easy one. I don't like how this one keeps getting into a spot where I'm not hitting him with the cannon. It's very frustrating. Alright, that's another trip done. Much quicker that time. We are going to go do this clue step real quick before we return. Should only take a few seconds. Do need some more cannonballs, really. And where is our combat bracelet? There we go. We'll just shove that away for now and go to the ranging guild. And I'm just going to go straight back to the cannon, make sure we don't miss any drops. Uh, I went to the wrong place. I think that crate might be a medium clue or something. Okay, that's a, that's a doable step. Another doable step. Just don't want to miss any drops here. It's annoying when you don't know which one's going to run out first. We'll do this trip and then go do the next step. To be fair, they're all dead. I might just go do the clue now. Oh no, one's going to come back up in a sec. It wouldn't have been that long to fill an invent anyway. <laughs> Although I didn't pot. I just realised I didn't pot. Okay, I'm going to get these two kills. Bank with a half invent, I think. I think we actually have to go through Varrock, which means we need some sort of a slash weapon. Uh, Sim? Yeah. Okay, we got a Varrock Teletab. Yep. We need another burning amulet, and we'll just grab an energy potion too. Fuck's up with that guy? What was he taking damage from? That was weird. I didn't bring a spurred. You know what? I'm just gonna go pick up my drops and then get the spurred. Today, I've accepted the fact that I'm being very inefficient, and I'm moving on with my day. <laughs> I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna do things. Hopefully we do more good things than bad things. Oh, I didn't even empty my looting bag either. It's kind of a good job I did make a mistake in that regard. Okay, here we go. Got to run all the way around, unfortunately. Just assumed I didn't have the agility level for this shortcut, but yeah, it's 51. Okay, there we are. Go back to bank. Dig anywhere in you bisque. Well, we can't do that. Can't do that. But we can juggle this clue on the floor at least now with two steps on it. So, there's that. Alright, now we're back to actually doing the dragons. Probably not going to be too much on the floor here because we're away for a few minutes there. Oh, nothing. What a waste. Are they all low? I don't even think they are. Is that one full as well? Okay, that one had some damage on it at least. Oh, that one's got fucking trapped again, on it? This might not be the right spot either for the cannon. Okay, it still gets that one on that one in the corner. More about whether it gets that one if it goes into that back corner. So I want a new clue scroll to drop now that we've got two steps done. And we'll lose those two steps. Okay, that's going to be the end of another trip here. I'm going to drop this clue. Pick up the shit that we can. Get out. Should have reloaded that, but oh well. Last stamina. This felt like quite a quick trip. Not quite finished yet, but almost. Okay, that'll be another bank. Give me a clue scroll, please. Give me a... Clue, give me a clue, clue please, clue me, clue please, clue me. Do you give me a clue? What should I do? Cause I'm trying to get a clue. I promise I am sin. I just know that this is the content y'all are here for. Hey, another clue scroll. Okay. I've never actually done this before, but this should be on two steps. Zero? What? Zero? But I've done two steps of it. Did they change it? 
I'm so confused. I'm sure that was a thing. It just wiped my steps. I'm really pissed about that. And I'm I'm not starting a new clue if I can't chain them. It's been ages struggling that one. I don't know if I did something wrong there, but like, I completed two steps on the clue. I dropped the clue, picked a new one up while it was still here. And it put me on this era. I thought it was meant to put me on two. It's a weird mechanic in the first place. But... Okay, there's another trip. Apparently I don't have any normal range in potions, so I'm taking divine. Very long cannonballs, up to 936 bones though. I'm losing energy, just extra. 54,000 banked XP away. And each dragon bone is worth 504 itself, so... 54,000 divided by 504. Right, we got like a half trip left in us. Fuck off, frogs. I don't think we've had a single useful random event that we've actually been able to take on this account so far. Come to think of it. <sighs> food? Do I have any food? Wow, that's bad. Need a burning amulet. Oh, there's a hit points level coming in right at the end of the day. 62. Every little helps. Let's see if we can just finish these three off. Might just get them in. Yeah, that will do me. Grab this. Let's get out of here. Not gonna have time to put really anything on the GE, but oh well, maybe we get our dragon to hide up. If we're very quick. Boom. Let's go. Whew. All right, folks. 975 dragon bones collected. Currently estimated just shy by 32,000 XP. Need about 65 more bones to secure the 70. However, there is always that chance with the 50% uh, the chance to save at the Wildy Altar that we get more than our worth out of the bones. Who knows? Let's see about all the cash we've got today. Just gonna price check this, not actually putting it on the GE. Got about 100k in the invent, 110k. Not too much. Uh, we did spend a little bit on Ring of Wealth today. We've barely got any cannonballs left. I'm hoping somewhere I can get online at a time that's a bit more appropriate to do some bone runs because we really need to start cashing in on some of these to figure out how close we are and that. But we do have more money for cannonballs if we need it. We had about 110k in the invent, plus we've got this dragon hide here for 230k, which is our main profit for the day. Still got offers in for the Ring of Wolf as well. But the bolts were just about alright on with 189, we're not going to need them for much longer. There's probably a bunch of extraneous shit in here that I could sell as well, like Blight Super Restores and, you know. We'll go through like a proper bank cleanup once we're going to actually... Figure out our loadout and invent set up for the fight caves itself in a week's time. Because I've only got seven days left to get that fight cave, y'all. Ooh, the clock is ticking. Anyway, I know it's been a bit of another just green drag sesh. Is what it is at the moment, folks. Gotta do what you gotta do, aren't you? Get them levels, get those monies, get all of the things that RuneScape wants you to have. Uh, that is gonna be all from me on this one. Please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Shout out to over 200 people who already have subscribed. You are a leg ends. That's right, your feet. Legends. And you can be a legend too if you also hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how nervous you are for me. Let me know how, what you think my chances are right now, looking at things with a week to go. How likely do you think we are to get this cape? and be lovely to one another. Look after yourself. I will see you on the next one.